to give a little bit of advice for those of you that are interested in playing disc golf. Right, so here's what I recommend you do if you're trying to get into disc golf. You've never played on a course, you've never been to a course. What you're going to want to do, you want to go to, to Dick Sporting Goods. Every, almost everywhere has a Dick Sporting Goods or something similar to it. And they have this little rack of discs there. That's the best place to start because they're, it's not an overwhelming amount. Because what's going to happen is if you go to a, a store that sells just disc golf discs, or if you go to uh, a friend and they have a stacks and stacks of discs, if you know a Derek Young, <laughs> he's got a billion discs. If you go there to buy a disc from him or anybody that has a bunch of discs, you might get overwhelmed at first. So it's always good to go to a place like Dick Sporting Goods because they don't have a huge selection. And I'm going to tell you what to avoid when you go there, what to look for when you go there, because it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle down the road on trying to learn how to play disc golf. Because you don't want to be throwing certain discs. So, so a couple reasons why I think you should buy your disc from Dick Sporting Goods, not a retailer is one number one make sure you do it by yourself go there by yourself so that you're not uh, having someone in your ear telling hey dude you should try this disc it's awesome I throw destroyers which destroyers are great nothing wrong with a destroyer or a boss or a corvette or whatever as long as you can throw it some people have different arm speeds so don't go thinking that you have immediately the same arm speed as anybody else just go there and look at only certain discs. Avoid high speed drivers. I'll point out the ones to avoid, which they have typically the same ones there. It's all interval modes. So choosing your first disc, I would avoid anything that's above a speed seven or eight. I would stay seven or eight or below. Uh, and I'll link down some, some of the discs and I'll show you some discs that you should avoid and discs that you should should look at. Definitely. No high-speed drivers to begin with. I wouldn't really do that. Unless you're feeling froggy, that's fine. A starter pack is always good. Those always have the best those best to choose from. Um, so stay away from those really overspeed discs. Stay low speed. Throw putters a lot. Practice your putting a lot. That's the best place to start. It's better to be a, really good on the putting green and really bad driving than vice versa because putting is where it, it matters the most. So yeah. Go to Dick's Sporting Goods. And I'm not saying don't go to these people. You know, we got the good good people around here. We got uh, Greg Hill. We're too far under par. He's very knowledgeable. He'll help you find a disc that's perfect for you. Uh, you got Chris Chapman. He sells discs around here too. Perfect. Great people. Uh, you can go to Pops General Store. They have a very good selection of discs there. I'm just saying that for someone that has never played before, is interested in going out, uh, a small, small little area of this that uh, Dick Sporting Goods has is perfect. So for those of you coming in for the first time, what you're going to want to do, anytime you see a, a group of people playing, if you're comfortable enough, by all means join them, but be aware that you're going to be potentially uh, introducing yourself to some criticism, which typically disc golfers are really nice about. It. They're not going to be rude to you. They're just trying to help you. And the reason I say that is because what I see happen a lot is people show up to the course, it's their first time playing, they, they run into people on the course out here and they'll join the card with them and play around with them and then often the people like myself that are knowledgeable about it will often give them too much advice, we'll just, we're telling them how to throw, throw like this, don't throw that, do this, do that, we're, and we're scaring them off, some of them, like it's just, it's just overwhelming for them I think. I think we just need to be more consciously aware that they're new and they're just out here to have fun. That's how it starts. That's how I start. That's how I learned. I had one disc. And I came out and I just played and I enjoyed it. There wasn't any any pressure to, to be good right away. We're all so anxious for people to play the game because we love it so much and we want them to play it. That we often try way too hard to get them to play it. So let them enjoy it. Let them figure it out on their own. Give them a few little tips here about what disc to avoid. What disc to get. Um... And just let them play. Be aware of that. If you're if you're just if you're a little nervous and you just want to be able to hang out and play, they'll ask you, do you want to play through? Just say no to that. Let them play through. That way you're not feeling nervous having all these people watching you. Just let them play through and you just play and have fun. That's what you do. Just come out, just have fun. Don't feel any pressure to do anything. Um, so yeah, avoid that, those pressure situations that'll make you nervous and that might cause you to tense up. 
just come out and have fun that's it just throw your disc doesn't matter if you hit first available not everybody's a pro like me come out here you know i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna miss that tree every time you might hit first available every tree it doesn't matter but you don't want to put that pressure on you to to throw a good shot in front of people that you don't know it could be intimidating we don't want to do that to people and once you get comfortable with your putters or your mids or your, your low speed drivers, wherever it is, that's when you want to start playing more with people that are a little better, you know, just, just, to, just to learn a little bit more. If once you get comfortable and where you're like, all right, I want to learn a little more, I want to get better, how do I do this, what do I do this? That's when you throw yourself into a game with people. And this is before you work up to a, a tournament or even a tag match, because that can put a lot of pressure on you. So just have fun. That's what it's all about. That's how most of us started. We just started having fun. And that's how we fell in love with it. And we often forget that because we got to let them develop organically. We got to let this all work its way out. Just like us. We, we fell in love with the game by just stumbling across it. Having one or two discs and then just throwing them, having, having fun with friends. No pressure, no, no trying too hard. And then we came to that next step where we were like, alright, this is fun. I want to be good at this. And that's where we get to this next step where we're, you've got 30 discs in your bag which is too much. I've got 22 discs in my bag and I throw like six of them. But don't worry, you'll get there too. All right, so that was part one. Stay tuned for part two later where we'll go over more of uh, the, the disc selection for higher speed discs and how to know what discs to choose as far as based on numbers and flight characteristics and manufacturers and all that stuff. So that's part two. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.